So here we go again. I will be drawing out from the Magdalene Oracle card the ocean or an ocean of eternal love. An ocean, perhaps there are more oceans of eternal loves. An ocean of eternal love. And I just come from a beautiful journey, meditation. Uh, not a meditation where I am in silence, but a meditation where I go on a journey. And it always shows some progression on the soul's journey, I think I could call it that. So I'm wondering if it'll be coming up here, because often those things are connected. The things that I experience in my personal life is in some level, level of course personal, but it is also part of the collective that I am in. So if anyone's watching, I guess we could say that we are in a smaller part of the grand collective. So I am focusing here when I draw one card on those who are in the frequency range that I am. So what do we need to know right now? And the processes, as always, I let, yes, oh, I love it, one card come out and then I will read from the book and channel. And you are curious, I guess, of what this is. <laughs> it is called God. And I think about the card, card source in the center row. It's the sun. I just had something with the sun god Ra. And the eye of the Horus. So God, this is not one of the tiny cards here, but let's see what the book says. Sometimes the words in the book resonates in not always my kind of a way, but there are some points in here that are beautiful. Well, there are many points of, in here that are beautiful, but let's see what they say here. God, you may be asking, does God really exist? And if so, where is God when you need God most? Often it is in our times of greatest need that we feel the most alone. This card is your confirmation that you are never alone. The universe has heard your call and wants you to know that the loving presence of the divine creator always fills and surrounds you. Surrender your fears and concerns. Accept the healing light that is being offered to you in this very moment. Out of fear, we often try to swim against the current. This is a waste of time and energy. Trust, accept and let go. Though there are bound to be many twists and turns along the way, you'll be pleasantly surprised where the river of life eventually takes you. And then there are some words in the end. Each life is like an ocean, forever yearning for love's shore. We ebb and flow, not realizing we eternally bathe in the sea of love. I'll just take that again. Each life is like an ocean, forever yearning for love's shore. We ebb and flow, not realizing we eternally bathe in the sea of love. And I must put just some words upon the journey meditation I was on just before I went here. Well, I just sat, of course, and I had this picture of, uh, I just had heard a tarot reading on, the, on YouTube, where the card of the cheetah came. And the cheetah, this uh, predator, running fast, with a very fast energetic feel around it. it and, and in, in my meditation, I, I saw that the cheetah was like an, an arrow forward, but then stopped and dragged back, like rewinding the, the video, or I don't know what it's called, but taking it back. So the energy kind of 
instead of being outwards, there was, whoa, this pulling down and back and sitting still. And it was not frustrating, it was just different. Because the cheetah is a predator, it's like uh, meant to be fast and, 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 and meant to, f uh, to hunt and catch its target. But here it was drawn back and, s and sat still. And just very beautifully, the energy shifted. So there were no movement back or forth. But it, there was a stillness and the appearance of a rose. And the energy of the cheetah changed drastically. So when it was able to move again, it wasn't fast like on the card. No, it just arose, stood up and gracefully just walked forward. Gracefully and with no needing to hunt anything. Just being in the presence of itself and the life around it, but not with the predator's eye, not with the senses' uh, attention out of what can I catch. And then I saw that it sat down and aligned with the sun. And this cheetah just looked around in the environment and there was possibilities for the cheetah to sense things that it could turn its attention to, but it didn't. It just let it be. And then it laid down on the back and there came uh, some kittens, little animals, and played around on the belly and the breast of the cheetah. And there was just, it's, it was just so harmonious and the cheetah was just open and enjoying being part of it. And that rapid went by and it, they just kind of greeted one another like, hey neighbor, hey neighbor, fellow traveler on this journey of earth. And nobody was anything with one another. It was just peace. And that alignment that the cheetah made with the sun, it was this feeling that was in the journey that I just experienced filling all the animals and the environment with a feeling of connectedness in one grand ocean of love, ocean of oneness. Very fiery and yet, or should I say very vital, very vital, but with no attachments and no desires. It was very vital and very fiery without being destructive in any way. Let's see if anything comes forth now in a channel. I felt like the journey that I was just describing was kind of a channeling. But let's see. Well, it, of course it was. But let's see if they would want to talk to. <laughs> Well, there is nothing much to say, is there? This is what you are all wanting. And the tricky part is that you have a desire to get there and that desire ruins the coming of it. Because when you desire to get somewhere, then you are reaching out. But where you desire to go, where you want to go, is to be in that God state of beingness. So as long as you search, you are the cheetah in movement, with its senses open, what can I haunt, where is my thing I wanted now? Perhaps the greatest fear of achieving the God state or the God-like state of being, perhaps the fear of being aligned with God, 
with source, with love and light. Perhaps the fear that prevents you from getting there is the fear of no movement, of nothingness. Because when you get there, if there was ever a movement of getting in the first place, but when you find yourself there again, finding out you have been there all the time, then what? Then nothing? Then no movement? No hunting? No chasing? No being the victim? No being anything. No being anything. But see, you will realize, if you haven't already, that in this kind of beingness, there is no emptiness. At some part of your journey, you will be there and you will find emptiness and you will be confused because it's empty and human mind doesn't like emptiness. Well, it does, especially when you reach that part of your, should we call it, maturation of the soul's journey, where you find out that in this empty space of oneness, there is all without any movement. Many of you know this. Many of you are operating out of this stage. And many of you need to find it all over again and again and again. Because human Life tends to make you fall out of it. But when you have tasted this, there is always a knowing of how to get back to being God, to being the sun in full alignment with your physical senses and beyond. Even the cheetah is on its way home. And that home is all already you. Hope this helped some of you, many of you. It definitely is a great energy to sit in, so I recommend you doing this. It's beautiful. Enjoy your journey. See you around.